Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another one of our workouts from home this time. Today is the second workout of the week, which means it's upper body. So I don't think I have anything else to uh, tell you for the day. There's no new news, so we're going to go ahead and get started with some uh, neck and uh, shoulder warm-up exercises. Actually, I, I'm going to get you to grab your bands right away because before I stretch out your neck and shoulders today, I'm going to warm them up with an exercise. We've done this one many times. Tuck your elbows in. Palms are to be held face up and shoulder width apart. And what we're going to try and do is open up the hand span. So we're going to separate our hands without separating our elbows. So it turns into a rotational exercise from our shoulders. And we're going to count in a multiple of the easiest of them all. 1 to 20, starting at 1. Two, try to get those arms as far back as you can. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, oh, 19, I know you're feeling it by now, 20, just hold that for a second, ah, and release. That's what I call a shoulder warm up. So now I'm gonna get you to open up your elbows, turn your palms out to in front of you so they face the wall in front of you, and at the same time, we're gonna raise our arms up and, uh, and uh, press up to the ceiling. We're gonna drop those arms down at the same time as we tuck them in, so we open and raise, we drop and tuck in. So we're warming up our whole shoulder here and we're allowing our arms to move in unison with the shoulder blades rather than try to uh, hinder the movement of the shoulder blades and uh, move the arms without them because that's just silliness, let's face it. We're gonna do a few more of these. And by now you're probably not wanting to do any more shoulder or arm raises or presses so we're gonna Stretch your arms out to the side. I'm not gonna let them rest yet. We're gonna rotate the arms forwards and backwards. And once again, I'm gonna ask that you allow the shoulders to move with the arms. So we're gonna pull our shoulders down and back and then let them raise and tuck forwards. So if I show you from the sides, you can clearly see me moving those shoulders forwards and back. We're gonna do that for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is raise our right arm up and try to reach a little over to the left hand side. So we're stretching out this muscle tissue from our, basically from our elbow down through the shoulder into the hip. And then we're gonna drop that arm down as we raise up the opposite arm and reach over to the opposite side. So this is, just to the side. There's no twisting, there's no rotation yet. And then we're going to repeat again, but this time we're not only going to reach to the side, we're going to twist forward a little bit at the same time. And then we're going to switch, we're going to reach to the right or to the side, and we're going to twist forward at the same time. All right, then we're going to raise our arms up, take a deep breath in, stretch out your rib cage, stretch out your abs, and then we're going to drop those arms down, we're going to reach them up behind our body, we're going to breathe in, we're going to breathe out, we're going to breathe in, we're going to breathe out, we're going to do that one more time with a breath in, and a breath out, okay, and then we'll finish up. Rotate this arm and tuck it in behind your body. Then rotate the other arm, tuck it behind your body. Remember which one is touching your back. Which one is on the bottom. Now look up to the ceiling. Keep your teeth closed. Take a deep breath in. And as you release, we're going to open up. We're going to rotate our arms forward and backwards just a few more times. And then switch to the other arm this time first. So it's a different arm on the bottom. Pull your shoulders back and down. Look up at the ceiling. Close your teeth and take a deep breath in. Oh, and release. Okay, so that's all the limber up work that we need to do for our shoulders. 
Let's grab the band. We're gonna step on that band with one foot. We're gonna have a staggered stance here. One thing. What I'm gonna ask that you do is that you raise your elbows up to the sides like that. And at the same time as you do that, you're gonna pull your elbows back, or your, not your elbows, your forearms, your thumbs back. Almost so, as though I'm touching the wall behind you. So elbows up with a rotation backwards. If you can't get your elbows that high up, you're gonna do this. You're gonna raise them a little bit and still rotate. It's that rotation that's the most important part. But if you raise the elbows at the same time, you're incorporating the delts, you're incorporating more muscles total, so it's a better exercise. So stagger stance, flex the hip, like we're sitting partially, flex the knees, and we'll start. A multiple of three from zero. Three, squeeze the shoulder blades together every time you raise your arms up. Six. 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Now switch the feet. You're gonna stagger the other foot in front. Okay, we're gonna do a Alternating biceps curl. So one arm curl, one arm ex um, flexes, and then we're gonna punch forward, tuck it in and drop like this. Flex, punch, tuck, and drop. Then the other one, flex, tuck, punch, and drop. Let's go, we'll count 30 backwards from 30. 27. 25. Uh, 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 27, 24, sorry, 21. I don't know what's going on today, 18. Usually my counting is absolutely perfect, isn't it? 15, 12, and we're not gonna stop when we get to zero, by the way. Nine, we're gonna count just from one to 10. Six, three, zero, and now we count from one to 10. That's giving it the one. Get a little extra work for the shoulders and biceps and chest. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna do one more exercise. We're gonna have a seat. We've done this one uh, many times before in the past as well. I'm gonna show you from the side. I want to even out that biceps work with a little bit of work for your triceps. So. We're gonna uh, put one or both feet underneath the band, or sorry, on top of the band. And really what I wanna see you do is push or pull an elbow back for both of them at, at the same time. And then we're gonna do our best to straighten the arm. Your arm doesn't have to straighten all the way. All that I need to see is that you're flexing these muscles. You're activating those muscle fibers. If you're strong enough to straighten them out all the way, great. But that's not necessary. So it's a pull followed by an arm straightening action. All right, for a multiple, of eight starting from zero. We take a little bit more time on this one because it's trickier it's a trickier exercise. Eight. Sixteen. You'll feel that that works more than your triceps. Your whole back. Twenty-four. Thirty-two. Forty. Forty-eight. Fifty-six. 64, 72, and 80. Now I want to keep that band where it is. Extend your arms in front of you. We're going to do one more set of biceps curls. If your elbows tuck in a little bit as you do that, that's okay, but it's better if you keep the elbows away from the body, all right? So counting back from 80, 72, 64, 56, 40. 40, 32, 24, 16, 8, and 0. All right, we are done with the resistance training for now. I think, I think that's enough work. You've worked your biceps, uh, you've worked your delts, your shoulders, you've worked your rotator cuff, you've worked your triceps, you've worked a little bit of your chest. So, Let's finish off with just a coordination exercise. We won't even need a ball for this one. Really simple visualization exercise. We're gonna do a triangle on our right. We're just gonna draw a triangle. 
and that's going to be with the, the, the single point on the top, right? an upright triangle. And on the other side, you're going to do an upside down triangle with the single point on the bottom. And at the same time, we're going to do a multiple of 12. All right, so try to visualize one is upright, one is upside down. Draw them at the same time on the same speed. Let's start from zero. Oh, man. 12. Uh, oh, boy, this is our 24. <laughs> 36, I think I got it. Uh, 48. 60. <laughs> My triangles 72 are not exactly uh, even. Uh, 84. 96. 108. Uh, 120. <laughs> now switch. So uh, one's uh, one the, the the one the one that was upside down is now upright and vice versa. So, like, counting back from 120. 108, 96, 84, 72, uh, 60, uh, 60, yes, 48, uh, uh, 30, 48, uh, boy, this one really messed me up. All I can think about is that the point of the triangle. Sorry, going from uh, 48 to 36, 24. 12 and 0. Leave me a, a comment below if you found that one fun or if you found it tricky. Let me know what your thoughts are on the exercise. That is it for the week, ladies and gentlemen. So rest up, drink lots of water, stay active, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you again in a few days' time.